Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a good old fashioned what's in my bag. I used to do these all the time. I have not done one in quite some time. And I'm gonna do a what's in my bag on my Odeon PM. This is such a functional bag and this has been my go-to recently. I have it stuffed to the brim. I have a lot of junk in here as you can see and in today's video I'm going to share everything that I'm currently carrying. I think I have a few mirrors in here. Not sure why I have multiples but that's the fun part about what's in my bag videos because you never know what's going to come out of the bag. But first I need your feedback. So one of the main reasons I wanted to film this right now is I just got a new camera. I have been on YouTube for a few years now and I have purchased cameras here and there, but I've always ended up returning them. So I've been filming on my Canon T6i. It's a Canon Rebel T6i for years. And I finally got a new camera. I really don't know how to work it. So this is kind of more of like a test video for myself so I can kind of see how it looks. Do you guys notice any difference? You know, I want to make sure it's clear for you. I obviously want to make sure the audio is okay. So that is one thing I'm really excited about. So anyway, you guys are here because you want to see what I carry in here. So I don't have it with me, but usually I will keep my phone in here. That is the wonderful thing about this bag. I have done an in-depth review on this bag, so if you're interested, make sure to check it out. But today we're strictly going to be nosy and see what's in my bag. Okay, the first thing I have in my bag is this. This is by Chanel. It is a lip gloss in 712, which is Melted Honey. This is so good. It comes in the Chanel Holiday Kits. So, so pretty. That's the first thing, and it just glides on so nice. Then, I have this little guy right here. This is my uh, Louis Vuitton pocket agenda. This is what I use for like daily appointments. Like I take it with me if I'm going to doctor's appointments. I also keep my daughter's sports. But I have the cutest little like inserts. I will link these inserts down below, but they're so adorable. So like this is a little dashboard cover. And then these are like little marble pages. I think I have done a video, but I will link these down below because I actually did get some larger sizes as well, which stay tuned. I do plan on doing a video <clears throat> on that as well. I think I'm doing that maybe in November or something like that so stay tuned for that but this is my little pocket agenda I love this like I said this comes in handy when I go to doctor's appointments and I need to jot something down so super cute I have this in there digging back in then I have another lippy here this is one that I got recently this is just a little lip balm it is just clear and I will be honest I got it for the beautiful pink packaging it is just oh, so cute but you can see it comes in this little like pink packaging here but I have this in here in case my lips get dry and again I have a bunch of things thrown in here because you know if you've been using a purse for a couple of days you'll just throw more and more things so if I have multiples don't judge me <laughs> all right next thing in here I have this little guy this is my Chanel flap key holder I love this I just did a comparison between this and the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder so check that out if you're interested spoiler alert I love this one so much I have so much shoved in here so I have like my ID I have my major credit cards I put a little bit of cash back there I have my key fob sticking out and then on the inside, I have like my gym membership, some keys. I put a little bit of cash over there. So this is just a great, great item. And because it's caviar, I don't have to worry about the wear and tear. But I take this with me to the gym each day. Okay, and then I still have a bunch more, as you can see. Next, going back in, I have another wallet here. This is my Rosalie from the Wild at Heart collection. Love this. The Rosalie is so good. It has a little zip part right here if you want to put change, but this is where I keep a lot of my store credit cards. So if you're a card person, like someone that really doesn't carry a lot of cash, the Rosalie is a great wallet because you can just like, your cards are all in here and you can get them out very easily. And then there is a compartment in the back here if you want to put more cards, if you want to put a little bit of cash. But if you're familiar with my channel, you know that is it necessary to have all these small other goods in your purse? No, you can probably compartmentalize, but I like to have 
different SLGs because I like to keep my stuff organized. So I have that there. There's more. Okay, this has been a lifesaver for me. So I get blisters nonstop, whether it's the summer and I wear sandals. I told you I was wearing those Hermes Iran sandals and I got terrible blisters. Or, you know, I have a couple pair of Golden Goose sneakers that give me blisters. And I have been out at malls where I have literally, I'm not even kidding, I was, I was walking at a mall a couple months ago, the Golden Goose sneakers hurt my feet so bad that I had to walk around the mall with my foot out of the shoe. It was terrible, the blister was terrible. So, I asked you guys for help and you recommended these Instant Pain Relief Compede Long Lasting Protection. Um, these little guys right here. I'll open it up so you can see what it looks like oh yeah push to open okay so push it so they're just little like little patches and they come in like different sizes they almost look like band-aids but they're a little thicker and you put them on your blisters i've already used them they're great but these are really affordable you can get them from target or walmart or anything like that by the way everything i share in today's video i will be sure to link them down below even items like this that are hard to get i'll try to find them on the pre-love market but these are a lifesaver. Okay. I could go for some lifesavers. That sounds good. <laughs> I have a mirror. This is a YSL. Is it going to focus? This is a YSL beauty mirror in the marble. It is so pretty. I may or may not it's yet to be determined, have purchased this kit just for the mirror. So you would get a full-size fragrance, a YSL fragrance, and then you got the little travel size and it came with this mirror too. It is the cutest kit. I will um, link it down below. And also, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but YouTube has a new function that they've rolled out actually a couple weeks ago. It's where YouTubers can tag products. Now keep in mind, these would be affiliate links. So if you guys clicked from them, you would be supporting my channel, which I truly appreciate. But it's where you'll see like a little picture up on the screen. And if you click on that picture, it'll take you right so you can shop, trying to kind of make your shopping a little bit easier. But anyway, to make a long story short, I may or may not have purchased the kit just to get this mirror. So that's in there. Then there's more. Oh my gosh. How is this possible? I have another melted honey. Okay, so I love these. The applicators on these are so good. They're like thick, but this color came in the Chanel Holiday Kit. I just really love it because it's like a clear gloss. It looks gold, but it's like a clear gloss, and I must have put two in there, but they're so good, you guys. They really are. Okay, what's next? I have another mirror. Why do I have another mirror? This is from the Chanel Codes Color collection and it is in Ballerina and this is their double faceted mirror. Now this is sold out, but I know they do still have the black color, but I fell in love with the pink. I actually got a couple of the different colors. I could not help myself. It was such a fun collection. So I have another mirror in there to check my teeth. Then, you guys, I have been loving this next item. So this is my Hermes Pocket Kelly Compact Wallet. You guys know the debacle that went on with this. I purchased it. I went into store. I saw it. I couldn't believe it. I got it. And then I got home. I unboxed it. And after I unboxed it, I noticed there were some spots and it was a whole ordeal. So I contacted my sales associate. I sent it back. She was able to find me another one. So she sent me a new one and I have been loving it. Now, this is how I've been using it. It does have a back zip compartment where you can put stuff in it. I haven't really used it. I like to use this for cash. This is where I have like ones and it's just really nice and easy because it really like stretches as you can see. So I found it so convenient and I just love this little lock. I love it. And when I first started using it, I was babying it. I put this in a little dust bag. Now I'm like, I, I want to use it. I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to enjoy it. And it is held up immaculately, but the color is just so pretty. Now this lock does stick out, but Again, I'm just using it. I'm not paying attention, but I don't have any scratches. But And if you guys have this, lo this wallet or if you have any type of Kelly item from Hermes, the Kelly lock is just so satisfying. I just love opening and closing it. It just makes me so happy. I love it. So I have this wallet. That's where I have cash. Yes. 
there's more. I have this little guy, another lippy. This is in Rose Confetti by Hermes. This is another lip balm. So that now means I have two lip balms in here and two lip glosses. Is that necessary? No. And I will say, I have this one in Rose Confetti and then I also have another one in Rose Tan. This one, it looks like it would be clear, but it does end up giving me a little bit of like a pink tint. So just be mindful of that. The other one gives me a little bit more of like a mauve -y tone. So I think I like the other one better. But if you don't like this pink, they also have like a peach too, but I'll link it down below. But I love, I just love the packaging. It's so pretty. Okay. What else I have? Oh, I have two receipts. This should be interesting. The first receipt is, oh, when I went to get my nails done. So... My nails are, hopefully you guys can see, I got the cat eye, really, really pretty. I do this usually around the fall months, but I got that for like the upcoming Halloween. So I have that. And then I also have a Lululemon receipt where I purchased my daughter some shorts. She got a gift card for her birthday, so we put those towards it, but I got her the wrong kinds because as you know, if you go into Lululemon, there are tons of different types of shorts well I got the wrong kind and there's a certain one she likes so I had to um, return return them so I have the receipt in here so Lululemon receipt nail receipt and then there is more then I have a fragrance this is Baccarat Rouge 540 this comes in the little travel kit where you get three of them I love Baccarat Rouge every time I wear this I get compliments on it now a lot of people say this is like a special occasion scent, mainly because it is a little pricey, but I do like to wait until like Bloomingdale's or one of the department stores are having like a deal, uh, either a gift card with purchase or a percentage off before I buy them. But I wear this on a daily basis. I work from home and I'll spray it in the morning, even if I'm not going to see anybody because I love it. And I love these little travel sizes. This comes in a pack of three. So I have that in there. Then I have some loose change. I have 61 cents, which isn't really going to get me much, but that's what I have it hanging out. And there is one more thing. Oh my God. Another mirror. Okay. This I'm going to be honest of all the things I've ever purchased. This may be the craziest thing I've ever purchased, and you'll probably know what I'm talking about if you saw my recent video, but it is the Dior Mirror. It is from the Premier Collection. Now, I saw this collection. They came out with a mirror, they had a brush, and then they also had a lipstick. I knew this was going to be pricey, but I definitely wanted something from that collection because I love this Dior Toi de G print. It is just so lovely and so beautiful. You might recall I got my first book tote from Dior um, this summer and it's in the beautiful pink and gray Toi de G print. So for this, I knew I wanted something from the collection. It's so pretty. Let's see if it'll focus. So, so lovely. Now I am going to be honest with you. I did not read the fine print or maybe I, I feel like the website might have been a little deceitful because I thought this was gonna be a compact. So I paid the price I paid, I opened it up, and to my utter dismay, this was not a compact. The one side is the Toit de G, you have the 18 karat gold here, and then the other side is the mirror, which I still have the plastic on, so that's why it comes with this case. But I feel like it would have been a lot more worth it if it was a compact mirror. This was an expensive mirror. But like I said, I am a collector. I look at it as a collector's piece and I definitely wanted something from the collection. And the lip brush, I didn't want to get it dirty. The lipstick, I just, I, I had already purchased the Chanel lipstick. I wanted to get the mirror, but again, a little disappointed it wasn't a compact. But in case you're interested, I will link that below as well. But yet again, I have another mirror. Why do I have three mirrors? I don't know. So, that is everything in here. I also have an organizer from Zumoni. I just have the red organizer. One thing I mentioned with the this bag, you can see when you open it up, it has a black interior. So it can have the appearance of looking like a black abyss. So I would recommend if you get an organizer to get a light color, it makes it easier to see your things. I do have a coupon code for 20% off in case you're interested. They have two types of organizers. They have a thicker one, this is a thicker one, and then they have a thinner version. If you're someone that wants a bag to have structure, I'd recommend the thicker one. But if you're someone who doesn't want to like stretch the bags 
I, I would recommend like if you have like the Chanel medium classic flap or the Chanel classic flap, I would get the thinner version for that so that way you don't stretch it. But this is the thicker version. And I have more and it was underneath of the organizer. So what else do I have in here? I have some more change. Okay, I have 125 and quarters. So that's good. I found a 10. And then I found, ooh, this was the key from when we went to my daughter's hockey tournament. That was at the bottom of my bag. So nice, I have found a 10, so that's awesome. That is everything that I have in this bag. Can you believe this bag fits all of this stuff. I love this. This is such a functional bag. Do you need three lip items, three mirrors, multiple wallets? No, you definitely don't. But you know that when you've been carrying a bag for a couple of days, you just keep throwing more and more in there. And I think what happens like with the mirrors and the lipsticks, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to wear this one day. Oh, I need a, a chapstick or then I need this or, you know, so I just kept throwing things in my bag. That's how we ended up with all of this goodness. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this What's In My Bag. I hadn't done one in a while. As you can see, I can be a little chatty, so I do apologize for that. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button, and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Let me know your thoughts. Do you notice a difference in the camera? Is it clear? Um, I would love your feedback. Like I said, I don't really like to invest a lot of money and like equipment or anything like that. I'll either like film on my phone for vlogs or I've been filming on the same camera because I've noticed that if I have invested in the camera, I end up not liking it and I end up returning it. So I would definitely welcome your feedback. Do you notice a difference or does it pretty much look the same? Please be honest. I would appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.